Hi guys. So today, Tumbu was sworn in. Two things happened today. I mean, two things happened today. Number one, people are happy today because Tinubu was sworn in as the new president, let's say the 16th president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And some people are so happy about it. So, so happy about it. Then two, some people are so sad. Some people are so sad today because today Tinubu was sworn in as the federal as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Now, let me tell you guys something. During the inauguration today, I was expecting, I was expecting them to do a silent prayer for those youths that lost their life during exile period. Nothing like that. It means that those people that died during exile period, they are dead and forgotten by the government. They are dead and forgotten by the people. The only people that remembered those people that died during the exiles are the youth. So I was expecting a silent prayer from them, but nothing of such. Do you know that during the exiles period, people lost their lives, people were made disabled. Up to date, their families were incompensated. And those that were made disabled are not compensated. They are just there. They don't go Sarah. So this is a very big lesson. This is a very, very big lesson to all of us. This is a very big lesson to the youth. If you know you love your life, not to ever in this life come out for any peaceful protest in this country, Nigeria. Nigeria has failed every, most of you. Nigeria has failed me. Those people that died during exiles, they are dead and forgotten. Their families weren't compensated, they are dead and forgotten. And those that are disabled, those that are amputated during the exiles, during the peaceful protest for the betterment of the people, they are just there for Sarah. They don't cut their hand, cut their leg. Some people are blind. Now Sarah didn't go. Not to ever come out, not to ever fight for Nigeria anymore. Either peacefully, or violently, don't you ever fight for Nigeria. And there's nothing we can do. Tunubu has been sworn in. All we need is prayer. Whether you like it or not, he is the president of this country right now. Whether you like it or not, he is the new president, the 16th president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. What we need right now is to pray for his administration to favor us. Like me now, I cannot tell you I'm in support of Tunubu, and I cannot tell you I'm not in support of Tunubu. But all I'm praying right now is for his administration to favor me and my family. That is all I pray for right now. I pray that his reign should favor me and my family and to the people in this country, in Nigeria. That is all we need right now. That is all we need right now. And make we say, guess sense, no fight for Nigeria, either peacefully or aggressively. That is all.